Once there was a man traveling across the country. He was very poor. One day he arrived in a town, and he had no more food. He asked the people for food, but nobody wanted to talk to him. So he went into the center of town with a big cooking pot. He made a fire, put a stone in the pot, and filled it with water. An old woman walked past and saw the pot. What are you making? She said. Why, I'm making stone soup. Don't tell me you have never eaten stone soup. It is delicious, but I think it needs some more ingredients. Then it will taste really good. I think I have some carrots," said the old woman. She went and brought some carrots and put them in the pot. Then an old man came and saw the pot. "What are you making?" he said. "It's a stone soup." Another person who doesn't know stone soup. I cannot believe it. It is the most delicious soup in the world, but I think it needs some more ingredients. Then it will taste really good. I have some onions. I think," said the old man. He went and brought the onions and put them in the pot. Next, a young woman arrived and saw the pot. "What soup is this?" she said. "There's a stone in it." "Of course," said the man. "It's a stone soup. You don't know what it is, do you?" This town is so strange. It is the best soup in the world, but I think it needs some more ingredients. Then it will taste really good. Well then, let me go and get some chicken. All good soups have chicken. So she went and brought some chicken and put it in the pot. Then came a young boy, and a strong man, and a sick woman. They all saw the stone soup. And they all brought ingredients to add to it: eggs, potatoes, salt, pepper, and so on. Finally, the poor man said, "The stone soup is done." He took the stone out of the pot, and they all took a bowl of soup. It was delicious, and everyone in the town enjoyed it. The next day, the man wanted to leave the town, but the people said, "Please, tell us how to make stone soup." Want to make it every day? The man said, "Ah, well, you cannot use any stone. It has to be a special stone." Hmm. I know. I will sell you my stone. Then you can make stone soup forever. So the people all gave him some money, and he left the town with lots of money. Next, he went to another town. There, he bought a nail, and he made nail soup in a big pot. Again. He told the people that nail soup was the best soup in the world, and they all helped him make it. The next day, they asked him to tell them how to make nail soup. Ah,、oh, well, you cannot use any nail; it has to be a special nail. Hmm. I know. I will sell you my nail. Then you can make nail soup forever. This time, they gave him more money than the first town. Now he was very rich, but he wanted more money. So the man went to a third town, and this time he used an axe and made axe soup in a big town. Again, he told the people that axe soup was the best soup in the world, and they all helped him make it. The next day, they asked him to tell them how to make axe soup. Ah,、oh, well, you cannot use any axe. It has to be a special axe. Hmm. I know. I will sell you my axe. Then you can make axe soup forever. This time they gave him even more money. Now he was very rich. He went to a big city and lived in a hotel. He did not need to make stone soup anymore. He paid men to make soup for him. One day he was eating a big bowl of soup, but there was a stone in it. He ate the stone and it got stuck. And he suffocated. What are you doing? Said the owner of the hotel to the chef. There was a stone in that man's soup. Now he is suffocating. Help him. The chef hit the man in the back, but the stone was still stuck. It was a big stone, like the stone the man used to make stone soup. The chef hit him again, but the stone was still stuck. 
So the man suffocated and died. <laughs>